Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. It's nice to see you and it's nice to be back here for a, a shave with the new Blackland Osprey adjustable razor. Um, right, before I start, I want to ask how you are. How's the weather where you are? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it cold? Is it warm? It's nice here, but um, yeah, it's okay. But I want to say the first thing I want to try, I'm going to try something different today uh, with these videos. Obviously, the review today is all going to be about this, the Blackland Osprey adjustable. So um, I was thinking about making like a long version, just a normal Kevy Shaves video that would go on for, I don't know, half an hour and you'd see me making the lather and stuff like that. But I was also thinking about making a shorter version, like an, an edited, edited down version, just um, maybe about 10 minutes, just purely about this razor, because that's what this video today is mostly going to be about, is my thoughts on it uh, and stuff like that. So that's what I'm kind of I'm, I'm going to try it. I'll, I'll see how it goes. So there'll be a long version for those that want to watch the long version. They can watch the full video, but there'll also be a, a kind of edited down version if it works. Fingers crossed it does. If you can't see the, the short version, you'll know I've not been able to do it. And I think ah, that just looks crap. I don't want to put that out. So this is the long version you're watching. I made a little video to say this is the short version, the long version. Right. Anyway. Right. Uh, what are we using today? The cream for today is Cella. Uh, this is an old cream. It's not that, it's, it's been on the go since 1899. This tub wasn't made back then, but um, this is one of the older ones. I've had this for about six, seven years. It's getting near the bottom now. It still has a little bit of a almond scent to it, but um, that's the cream I'm gonna be using for today. I'm going to be bowl lathering that in the Captain's Choice bowl. So there's the cream in there. Yeah, this is a copper bowl. So I've just spread some in the bottom there. Uh, there's the Captain's Choice logo on the bottom there. That's that. Uh, the blade I'm going to be using, the blade is the Gillette Ruby. Brand new Gillette Ruby blade. That's the back packet there. And of course, the razor, the razor for today's shave is the brand new Blackland Osprey, the adjustable. Yeah, I've done a, a kind of unboxing review of this, uh, which I'll put the link to in the video. It has all the specs and it shows you everything in detail about this razor. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be using for today's shave. Uh, and I'll put it through, I'll, it's an adjustable, goes one to nine, so I'll put it through its uh, paces just using different settings and stuff like that and see how I could change it on the fly and during the shave and stuff like that. So we'll do that. Right, but first of all, let me show you the brush. Um, so the brush for today is the, the brush is the Phoenix Starcraft with the 24 millimeter Roswell synth um, knot. Here's the brush here, very nice brush. I like this brush. Yeah, so that's the brush. Yeah, right, so see, see the way I'm kind of pausing there? That's just so it makes it easier for me to edit, but if this is the long version you're watching. You'll think, well, why is he doing a little pause there? It's just so it's easier to edit for me, okay? But we won't tell them that we're watching the short version. Shh. <laughs> we won't tell them what goes on in the long version. Right, so that's the brush. Right, so let's uh, get this lathered. With this brush, how are you? How's things? Yeah, I'm looking forward to this review. This uh, it's all about the razor today, so um, just giving you my thoughts on it, seeing how it performs, see how it feels. Is it aggressive? Is it really not aggressive on the lower settings and stuff like that? Yeah, just I'm just giving you my thoughts on it. Um, but there will be another two or three videos using this just to get a general feel for it. Today I have. Um, about five days worth of stubble here, so um, I just wanted to kind of test it out with different lengths of stubble and different, I might shave again after a day, um, stuff like that. So I just, for the next few shaves, I'll be using this razor just to test it out, give me my thoughts on it. Well, wow, that's a lot, of, uh, a lot of water through in there. Cella, wow. beautiful. Yeah, it's whipping up nicely in this bowl, as you can see. Yeah, 
spilling out the sides. This is a great brush from PA the Starcraft. I like the handle on this brush, it's nice. So I'll just keep working that ladder. Clickety clack clack against the side of the bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know whether um, whether the short version will work and I might not put it out because I might think, ah, that's crap. And why put out two videos? It's just making more work for me in the editing thing, but that's what I do for you people. Yeah, some people think that these videos are like half an hour and they're like, oh, I don't want to watch half an hour review of this. I just want to find out what the razor's about. And so that's why I've decided I'm going to try. I'm going to try and um, make a, a short kind of version. Short version might be better and you might say, please keep them at kind of 10, 15 minutes, Kevy, that's excellent. <laughs> right, a little bit more water. And a little bit more water. Cella for me is one of the um, soaps. You hear people saying, this can take a lot of water. Cella can take gallons of water. Look at that. <laughs> it, just it just keeps going. Yeah, it really does. I've done little, uh, I used to do like little experiments with my soap. Not experiments and such, but just test lathers. Just put them in the bowl. It's a little bit of uh, soap in the bottom and just add water. And Chella is one of these soaps that can, you can just keep adding water, working it, and it just keeps going and going and going. Yeah, so that's what I'm looking for. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice shine on it. Look how much is in here, just from a little thumbnail in the bottom, <laughs> bottom of the bowl. Right, let's wet the face. First of all, we'll uh, put the blade in the razor. Right, so Gillette Ruby. Here's the razor here, three piece. Screw the handle like that, comes off. It comes off like that. There's all there. Right, let's get this uh, blade loaded. So this is a brand new Gillette Ruby. Cartridge, please. Not heard them for a while. Yeah, so there's our Gillette Ruby. So it just goes on the top cap like that. There's there. It goes on like that. You push that on. Screw the handle on. And there's there. I'll adjust it um, when before I start the shave. See, the blade looks all nicely aligned. Yeah, beautiful razor. Good weight to this. It weighs um, 105 grams. 105 grams. If you take this brass insert out, see this little brass insert, it weighs uh, 88 grams. So a little bit lighter, but really nice, looks good. Right, let's get lathered up. Chella is a, a great soap, or I guess you could call it a crope. Yeah, you can see, look, I have about five days growth here. Um, and you can see the stubble poking through the lather. Yeah, Shane, um, at Blackland said, use the razor a couple of times, get a feel for it, but um, I want to give you my thoughts as I shave with it on video. So I've not used it before, I've not shaved with it, so what you're seeing today is me giving you my thoughts, how it feels, very first time using it, stuff like that. Right, that's lather, looks good. 
Right, let's uh, go for the setting. So here's the arrow here. So this is this arrow here tells you what setting you're on. So to adjust it, you loosen the handle and then you turn it to, uh, let's go setting five. And then you tighten the handle back up. So there's our on setting five, halfway. Can you see that? Yep. Right, let's see how this feels. Right, I can't feel the blade, so. Yeah, I can't really feel the blade. It's getting, um, it's getting towards Blackbird territory for me. The Blackland Blackbird, if you know how um, that feels. It's kind of heading that way. It's not as aggressive as that on five. Okay, let's just turn it up to setting. Let's go to seven. Setting seven. Right, let's see how this feels. Yeah, straight away you can feel the difference. There's more blade feel. Not a great ton of blade feel, but. Yeah, it feels nice. Okay, let's uh, let's take it up to um, let's take it right up to nine. And that's up as uh, far as it will go. Up to setting nine, which is the most aggressive. Look at that gap. Yeah, you see that <laughs> there. Look at that. I think that that blade gap is one point four millimeters. So let's see how that feels. Yeah, yeah, you can feel the blade there. And it's, uh, it's just wiping away that stubble. So a good, um, a good range, right, I'll turn it back down. Just, again, just loosen the handle. Um, there's little bits here on the side, which is good for gripping. Actually, it doesn't feel Slippy. Let's take it right back down to, uh, let's go all the way back down to one. Setting one. Yeah, that's mild. But you know what? It's removing the whiskers, which is what you want a razor to do. So, there we go, that was on setting one. Yeah, you can see the difference there in the, the blade gap. There's hardly any showing there. But um, that was good. Felt nice. Right, let's have a feel. Yeah, this, this side feels a little bit closer because I, I think I used that on setting nine, so. But all in all, feels great. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, that's nicely rinsed off. Yeah, feels good, feels good. Okay, back to this uh, cella. Okay, pass number two with the uh, Blackland Osprey. Right, so I finished up the first pass on setting one. So let's, here's how easy it is to, people say, oh, I don't like that, you have to change it, you have to unscrew the handle to change it. You would do that with a Gillette adjustable as well, wouldn't you? You kind of turn the dial, 
so the doors release a little bit, then you adjust it. So this, you just turn the handle uh, and I'll go to setting, let's go to four and then just tighten the handle down. Yeah, so setting four, you can see that on the arrow there, on the other side has black land. So setting four for the second pass. That is very comfortable. Yeah, there's no um, overhang on this razor, so safe. Going under the nose and stuff. Right, again, let's uh, adjust it. Just loosen the handle and take it up to setting. Uh, let's go 7.5. Yeah, someone said um, in the comments of the last video, it would be nice if the numbers were painted. And I have to agree, I think the numbers, the numbers do look great and that might take away from, if they were painted, it might take away from the overall look from the stainless steel finished. But um, you can clearly see the numbers, but it would just might be nice if they were painted, but I suppose you could do that yourself, I guess. There's lots of videos on there. But um, the weight and balance of this razor is, it's nice to hold. It feels, it's evenly balanced. It's um, not too head heavy. Um, again, but if you take the brass section out here, which is easy to do, it will make it a little bit more head heavy. So let's go on setting, whether I say 7.5, well, just after seven. Right. Again, that feels um, nice. It doesn't feel overly aggressive because it's very smooth. Uh, it's very smooth in use. Yeah, set in seven, or just after seven. Maybe 7.2. <laughs> Great, feels really nice. Very smooth, so that was on um, just above set in seven. That's the second pass done. That's how I feel, that feels absolutely fantastic. Right, let me rinse I'll come back for pass number three for more settings against the growth. Okay, the rats are rinsed off nicely. Back to the uh, cello. <laughs> Look how much cello there is. Lots and lots. Right, let's just put some of that back. Yeah, there was some people commented on the um, on the video where I showed the razor off. They, they weren't sure about the price and stuff, but um, Shane's now uh, confirmed, I think it's $350, which is expensive for a razor. But if you watch the YouTube videos, how much um, research and development has went into creating this razor. You might get a, a feel as to why it's, it's um, it's that price and obviously the materials used and stuff like that and it is an expensive razor for um some people saying well it's just shaving i'm not going to spend 350 pounds on uh, 350 dollars on a razor just to shave my face well i've spoke about this before but it's um if you can afford it and you want it you want to try it yeah go for it i do get that some people will say well i'm not going to spend that much on a razor because it's too much money and I, i've got family to feed and stuff like that, and bills to pay. And I totally understand that, I totally get that. But, um, you know, you might. this might be the only razor that you buy for the rest of your life. What, a wet shaver with only one razor? Come on, Kevy, who are you trying to kid? I know, but you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. Right, let's go from setting 
7 for the against the growth pass. Let's take it down the setting. Uh, let's go to 3. Let's go to setting 3. I'll just turn the handle again. Yeah, some people might think that um, unscrewing the handle like this and then adjusting it with the blade there might be a bit dangerous. So if you want to use like a towel to, to hold it, that might be a better idea. But no issues with grip at all with this handle. Um, it feels really nice, really grippy with these little bits in here. Yeah, very good. Right, setting three against the growth uh, with the Blackland Osprey. Yeah, so um, setting three for me on this feels about setting a uh, plate three on the the uh, Rockwell Success, maybe even a little bit less. If there was a plate two point five, uh, that's what this would feel like. Very nice. It depends if you like if you like a lot of blade feel. Which I don't. I don't like too much blade feel. Um, so uh Setting three for me feels great, against, especially against the growth. Got a little, little nick there, is it? Don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't like a lot of blade feel, so. I tend to go more towards uh, a milder shave. So this setting feels great. Setting three. Yeah, very nice. It's very smooth. There's not uh, there's not any blade feel. On this particular setting, yeah, look. Just a tiny little, not nick there, but maybe where the blades caught it. Right, three passes done with the uh, Osprey. Let's have a little feel about. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's excellent. Right, let's have a little rinse. See if there's any pickups needing done. Tiny bit here, just in my usual uh, spot here on the neck. Up here feels good. Moustache feels good. Right, so for the pickups, let's go to setting. Uh, let's go all the way to nine. Setting nine. Just tighten that back down. Yeah, look at that gap. Right, so there's just a yeah. There's a bit of blade feel there. But it's smooth. If you like the the the, the Blackland Black Blackbird, you'll probably love this razor because. It has um, some of the characteristic feel of that, but it also has this, uh, the blade feel is that as well, and especially on these uh, higher settings. Yeah, that feels great. Really good. Right. Cold water rinse.
<laughs> yeah, so lots of cello here. So I'll have a face wash with this actually. I might go for the Allen block just to see how that feels. I'll see you in a minute or two. Okay, we're back. I've left the face wet. Uh, let's go with the Allen block, see how that feels. Is there any feedback? Mm, a little bit here, just with that little tiny, tiny neck is. Yeah, a little bit on this neck here, just because that's, uh, I used that on setting nine, didn't I? See, there's nothing on this side. But other than that, it feels pretty good. Yeah, a little bit of sting down here. That was the, the higher settings. Other than that, feels pretty good. Right. Um, I'll leave this on just now. Right, those of you watching the long version, <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, right, let me rinse off the alum. That's good. Yeah, so I'm not sure how this uh, short version, long version is going to go, <laughs> but I'll give it a try. Something different, you know, just to kind of make people feel that they don't have to watch the whole video, they can watch a shorter version. Right, um, there it's there. Yeah, it feels good. There was a little bit of sting from the alum down here, but that's okay. Right, let's go on to the post shave. Um, boots, fresh wood, after shave. Yeah, if you don't get a burn with this, you're doing something wrong, but it might not be because of the alum. Yeah, a little bit on the side of the neck again. What a lovely, classic scent. Yeah, good stuff. And um, the balm, I seen this and I thought, oh, I'm not used to that for ages and ages. I think I got this from someone in Bulgaria. It's a tea tree and menthol for sensitive skin, free from parabens and artificial colors. And it's called Men's Master Professional Barber Cosmetics. Nice beard and mustache the guy's got there, right? Nice hairdo. Not any better on this wig, but there you go. <laughs> right, right, just a little bit. A little bit will do. Mm, smells nice. Tea tree and menthol. Good for the skin. Yeah, that was a good shave. I'm always um, a little bit apprehensive using a razor for the first time. You never know how it's going to perform and stuff, and if it's going to cut you or if it's going to, you know, be too aggressive, give you like a make, make your skin feel a bit raw. But it's a good thing about an adjustable is that um, is that as an adjustable you can adjust it as to how you feel. You think that nah, that's too much, just change it down again. But um, yeah, so let me show you what we've used again today in the shave. Uh, the brush was the PA Starcraft. There's a the box here. Yeah, I love this brush with the Roswell 24 millimeter Roswell synth knot. Very good. We bowl lathered in the Captain's Choice copper bowl. Uh, the cream was Cella. The blade was a brand new Gillette Ruby. The razor was the Blackland Osprey adjustable, the brand new. Um, uh, my thoughts on it, well, I, I said them in the short video, but um, I'll give you guys in the longer version my thoughts as well. Um, it's a very smooth razor. The balance on it is very good. Um, it's great to look at. It shaves well. The only thing for me, I think, is going to be uh, loosening this handle and adjusting this dial 
to how medium, uh, how aggressive or not aggressive you want it. This dial is very tight to, to change, especially as you get up to the higher numbers. Now, I said before you can grip this with a towel and stuff like that, but um, I think there's going to be, a, if people have this razor, there's, there's going to be some guys maybe slice their finger open with it, that blade, so just be careful if you are changing it. Um, you know, it does have good grips under here. You can see that there, there's little lines to hold it like that, but just be careful. Yeah, because it's it's quite tight and you are adjusting it right up here. So uh, yeah, just, just be careful what you're doing. But my overall thoughts, I really like it. Um, I enjoyed it. I'll use it in a, another shave, give you my thoughts on that again. Maybe it was just one or two days growth, just to see how it performs with that. Maybe with a different blade. Um, yeah, but a nice grip weight, balance, it's a beautiful piece of uh, shave kit, right? Yeah. Is it worth $350? That's up to you. That's entirely up to you if you think it is. Um, there's other YouTubers going to review it, stuff like that, so uh, you'll get the, their thoughts and people will want this razor and they'll, they'll buy it and give you their thoughts as well, but it's very smooth. I like it on the lower settings, I must admit, because I do like a, a milder shave. I said that before, but... Um, yeah, let's use it again. But initial thoughts are, yeah, very good. I like it. Right, uh, we finished it off with uh, the Allen block. A little bit of sting down here. Boots Freshwood. And then this Men's Master Aftershave Balm. Right, that's the long version, finished. Um, if anyone's still here. Yeah, as I say, I don't know whether the shorter version will, will work and, and stuff like that with the editing and stuff. I'll, I'll give it a go and see how it how it kind of, um, how it goes, yeah, but that's it. But that's today's shave, yeah, very enjoyable. Yeah, it feels good, the skin feels nice. Not any um, razor burn or stinging or anything like that. Feels good, good stuff. Right, okay, I'll, uh, I'll probably use this razor in the next video, so if you're bored of it, like, oh, not again. But I, I think I might just do the, because this is primarily a, a razor review about this razor, um, giving you my thoughts. I might just do the long and short versions just for this razor, just because it's a review and stuff like that, and people want to hear it, they just don't want to watch the whole video maybe. Uh, so I might just do that for that, but other than that, it'll be back to normal. If I do a, a different shave with another razor, it'll be the usual two days long. <laughs> two days long video. Right, anyway, thanks very much for your comments. Keep them coming. Uh, I really appreciate um, all the support for these videos, and uh, yeah, Look after loved ones and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.